Hello and welcome to my walkthrough using the original build that I came up with for continuous disintegration. We are going to take out my alt wizard, Arcanaut, and we're going to demonstrate using my original equipment before I started uh, upgrading. Um, this is the result, re, uh, helmet that reduces the cost of disintegrate by four arcane, the weapon with a very slow attacks per second, and I have a passive that also gives me two arcane per second for a total of 12, um, even though the arcane uh, cost for disintegrate is 18 and minus 4 would make it 14. Um, with the 0.9 it's almost exactly 12. So um, this is how I used to play with Ray of Frost as the left click for when I ran out of mana and disintegrate is my right click when I wanted to deal a lot of damage. Um, Use Diamond Skin, Frost Nova, and Blizzard more as a delaying um, skill and Storm Armor was just cool because it would electrocute things from a distance. Uh, I had to run with Glass Cannon because I didn't ever have really good weapons for damage. Um, the Cold Blooded allowed the uh, cold attacks to do more damage and the Astral Presence was a change that I made in order to make the continuous disintegrate work. So I'm going to head out to the old ruins and show how this works in MP10. As you can see, I'm not doing a lot of damage. And I'm going to have to run away, slow him down in order to... Ah! And that's one of the problems I had is I would shoot in the wrong direction instead of move. And that continued to be a problem for a while. I'm very frustrated with this, and I always was when I played. And I will eventually kill these, unless I shoot in the wrong direction instead of moving. So that's enough of that. Next we're going to uh, show the current build. This is my main wizard, Dark Master, and we're going to jump into an MP10 game, and I'm going to show you how this one works. Now, um, set up for maximum magic find uh, instead of maximum damage. Uh, arcane power generation is the standard 10 per second. As you can see, there's no um, arcane power on crit in the helmet or any of the other items that I'm currently wearing. Oh, here's some. I get at least 10 off of the uh, offhand. I forgot that I'd added that back in. So that's my only uh, arcane power on crit, as you can see there. Um, you can also see that I'm only using three of the Tal Rasha's set pieces. That's to enhance the lightning damage. And I'm also using two of the Zunamasi set to get the extra 130 intelligence. Now, why am I using Zunamasi? Um, the Zunamasi chess piece does not add attacks per second, IAS. Um, increased attack speed is an anathema to this build. You do not want it for this build. It will ruin the build. Um, it causes more mana cost for the same spell. And that's why there is no attack speed on any of the items that this character is wearing. Okay, um, as I said, it's mostly geared towards maximum magic find, not towards maximum damage. But even with 60k, we should be doing pretty well here. Now I'm going to jump to the old runes. I probably should have gone through the stats first. Mirror image is my left click is to prevent the 
inability to run away problem that uh, I've been having with this build. Uh, disintegrate with Chaos Nexus for um, multiple hits on multiple targets. Diamond Skin with reduced arcane power. This is how I gain arcane power. Um, Storm Armor, which reduces the cost of all of my skills by three, is part of what helps me able to do the continuous disintegrate. Now, of course, critical mass, I'm using that in order to fire off Diamond Skin more often, and I get a extra benefit of having Frost Nova fired off more often. Once again, Glass Cannon for the extra damage, and Evocation to help me fire off Diamond Skin more often. So this is now more like a critical mass build than a Kiting Guild build. Okay, so when we fire off the Storm Armor, we're going to get less cost on the Arcane, uh, on the Disintegrate, the less Arcane cost. And now I'm going to activate this mob. Now the, the uh, clones have this nice effect where they'll fire off uh, Frost Nova as well. And I'm not really using the Diamond Skin for its defensive purposes. I'm using it for uh, mana. It makes my mana gr gain as I use it. Okay, I'm going to have to kill this guy quick. So I'm about to kite into another group of mobs. And as with the torsos, they can die and spawn as a crawling torso. So it is a kiting build, or I like to call it a tactical retreat build. And that's at MP10. So if we take this to a uh, more sane MP setting. This will drop the... Uh, Magic find by 100, so we're now at 425. With the uh, five stacks of Nephilim Valor, that'll go back up to 500, which is a nice level to have. And we're going to go find another uh, mob. As you see, I hit the diamond skin immediately to keep my uh, mana from failing. And MP5, I do not have to retreat. It's just a habit. And we'll get our clones so we can proc some more Nova. And this is going to be a nasty battle. This is why I like the Chaos Nexus, because it'll hit more uh, targets. which tends to make the uh, critical mass cool down the uh, skills. So you can't play this as aggressive as you can a uh, critical mass build. Um, you are stand and deliver and uh, tactical retreat methods of fighting, but infinitely playable. So, and that's the demo of the Magic Find 100%, and the next will be the demo of the damage at the highest I can set it at, which is rather a cheap, uh, cheap build as well, only about uh, four or five million. And now I have the maximum damage that I can do currently with this build. Um, this is my Scorn I picked up for about 500k. Um, the amulet I switch, swapped out, Talrosh's amulet, that'll give me the ability to still do my lightning skills boosted, even though I dropped out the uh, offhand for Talrosh's. And I changed the ring to uh, one that does more crit damage. Um, that gives me 120. Okay. Now activate that to get my uh, costs down. 
and now we'll fire off these Get my clones to uh, do some frost nova and we're good to go um, until I started using storm armor uh, it was a bit difficult to kill things before they got to me before I started using continuous disintegration and I've liked the uh, the little extra lightning bolt damage there. I'm using this skill mostly for the uh, extra three um, arcane cost reduction. I could use uh, several other ones for the same thing but I like the uh, storm armor because it gives an attack as well. And I don't have to have the ability to target the monster for it to get this attack. It just has to have the uh, desire to attack me. And then the lightning will hit it back. Which means walls, doors, that sort of thing, lightning will, will hit. Which is the one thing that I find I miss from changing out my uh, Archon. So that's uh, the demo. Um, this is a, what I consider a medium stage uh, equipment setup. You know, I have the Vial Ward that everyone has. Um, and the sets. Uh, mostly these items are because of the high magic find. But um, I do use two sets in order to get the maximum uh, benefit of both sets. So, and that's the end of the demo.